What's up, viewers, subscribers, and agents alike? It's your boy, Lightless Fan Prince, coming at you once again. The reason why I particularly wanted to do this video is because of one of my subs. They particularly was like, well, since you explained it to me so well in private, why don't you explain it to people in public? And I said, well, cool. I think I can do that. I think I can do that. Said person, name aside, thank you for the motivation, and particularly, thank you for the actual um, suggestion. I think a lot more people need to know about this. But if you're watching this video around children, as I say before, please remove them from the immediate vicinity, because as I said before, our videos are not for children. Okay? All right. Now, this is called mortgage contracts, disclosure. Now, I know a lot of people have um, a like very complicated understanding about what mortgage is, or contracts are, or even one and of the same. However, I'm here to explain it to you in less than five minutes. Now, a mortgage contract in and of itself is a contract that's signed between one or more parties in regards to a, a particular piece of property or what they may call real estate, whatever a fancy term they wish to use. The, thing with, the one thing about contracts is that contracts can be either amended or totally annulled and or they can be forfeited by default. Normally, when it's forfeited by default, it's normally the signator or the person who signed the contract and they're the ones who were held liable by law and execution of law because you just didn't know a legal specific remedy in order to help you or help assist you in regards to the modification or the nullification of the contract. You basically got cold feet. Mortgage companies bank on this and literally bank on this because they know for a fact that most people are ignorant to the law. A contract is a binding agreement between one or more parties that particularly holds an, an individual, not individual according to natural laws concerned, but individual according to commercial law, which is a corporation, to act in a certain capacity. Now, the beautiful part about mortgage contracts is that if you act as an SPC and you operate in a capacity as one, you have leveraging power over the actual issuing entity, i.e. the mortgage company. So, what am I saying? Unless, of course, you are a secured party creditor, you are considered a debtor in commerce, and you have no commercial leverage. In commerce... In order to be sovereign, you have to own property. I'm not saying physical. I'm saying intangible as well, which is yourself, which is what you put on that paper before you got that house or that particular piece of tangible property. A lot of people can't separate the two. So the remedy is to become an SPC and to set off the mortgage contract by giving them negotiable instruments that validate your standing in law. Simple as that. Wow, that was quicker than I thought. That's less than four minutes. <laughs> that's, the, that's the remedy. Not to mention a lot of people actually let their court procedure go forward or they let the foreclosure go forward because they don't have an adequate remedy. The, the remedy in and of itself is to be, become informed properly about full disclosure. No contract can actually be held liable against you without full disclosure. So if you fully disclose something to somebody, then you're fully informed. If you're not fully informed that this contract is fraud, then it has no standing in law. And a lot of people need to go assert themselves before these people in order to preserve your lifestyle. Simple as that. That's five minutes. I ain't need no Zoom meeting for that. <laughs> Hell no, not at all. You know, that's the truth. So if you need help and assistance with this, please contact me via email. Please, to schedule a consultation. A lot of stuff I just can't say on, on the YouTube. I keep my videos short, sweet, to the neat. I don't even like for, you know, 
I don't even like to take too long shaving. I feel I get pissed off shaving too long <laughs> with myself. <laughs> so, you know, contact me by email. We'll schedule a consultation and we'll take it from there. Get your remedy. Get your remedy. Keep your property. You earned it. Don't let nobody just take it from underneath your feet. If you do, that's on you. You're just going to go down like without a fight. Hey, that's your, that's your thing. That's your thing. Not everybody's going to fight the battle, but me. I encourage people to do this. Mortgage contract. Disclosure. In order for you to understand how you're going to proceed next, you got to have an adequate strategy. Other than that, if you don't have one, they're going to win. Every time. And they're banking on you not winning. Straight. They're banking on you not winning. They're banking on you get cold feet. Fortunately, people, you know, because people have a problem with me um, eating fruit. It's just a little sidebar. People get a problem with me eating fruit. I really can't, um, really can't eat fruit no more during my videos because people have a problem with it. Suck! <laughs> Pineapple on the menu, baby. <laughs> Let me tell you why I do that. Let me tell you why I do this. It's to piss people off. <laughs> These people um, don't tell me what to do in my motherfucking corner of the universe, okay? Just don't ever tell me what to do. The sovereign individual, don't tell me what to do. I want to eat fruit on my channel, so be it. I can mukbang and have a Zoom meeting on a whole UCC one. Fuck you. <laughs> Straight. I've always been the type of person. I hate when people tell me what to do. That's one of the reasons why I enforce people to basically keep yourself, keep your property. Make sure you, you hold down your fort. You know what I'm saying? Become the SPC and, and, and keep your property. Like I said, you work hard for something. Why are you going to work hard all these years for something that they can take away in less than a matter of weeks? Are you crazy? I'm not. I said, contact me by email. Please, serious inquiries only. Serious inquiries only. And just so you we don't get this messed up, it's going to be in the video description. <laughs> so, this is true, people. Keep what you got. That's why you become a secure part of credit. To keep what you got. You put your name on everything. But you don't own the name. That's why they can take it. Learn the process. Keep what you got. Peace, light, love. Agents, fuck you. And for anybody who don't like me eating pineapple, guess what? I swear, if it wasn't for the stereotypical ideology attached to it, I'd eat a whole fucking watermelon on this shit. <laughs> but prefer cantaloupe. You know? Just saying. Don't try me, because I'll do it. I eat a whole head of lettuce on here. And put ranch on the top of that motherfucker. <laughs> hate people with that bullshit. But on a serious note, people, business-minded people, contact me by email. I'll be waiting on your emails within the next day or so. Take care. Stay tuned for the next upload.